How did you and Scott meet? Sounds really harsh, but I really wasn't a fan of him at all. We come to a hotel full of Instagram influencers. Well, like. there's me with my t-shirt on. Me with my then. snorkeling gear. Yeah. Ash, will you ever go five star? Uh, five star is my dream, my goal. Make Just a yes or no. <laughs> guys welcome back to this week's vlog this week's vlog is a q and a we are heading off to mykonos yeah. we are in the There's airport no, in here, no. <laughs> we are just about to go and go to our gate to get on the plane so whilst we're in greece we're going to answer these questions the first question weirdly was who is scott unbelievable yeah absolutely unbelievable. anyway we are going to head off to the gate now and we will see you in Mykonos. Alright Ash, just about to board the plane. I'm thinking people don't really want to see anything else, so I just think you should well we should jump to Greece. Yeah, let's jump to Greece. Okay. Yeah. Ready to jump, go. In one, two, three. Right, first question right off the bat. When did your interest in horses begin? My interest in the horses began when I was two. That was when I first sat on a horse at a farm. And then at the age of seven, I went to a riding school. When I was 11, I asked my mum and dad if I could have my first pony. They made me wait till I was 13. And then I got my first pony, Spencer. Ash, how do you block out negative or intrusive thoughts around big, scary cross-country jumps? God, you're really asking me now. How do I block them out? Well, I don't really block them out. I do think about them, but I get quite nervous at four stars with the cross country. So I try and re-watch old videos of myself and Zeb where we're going really well and try and think about that rather than focusing on all of the negatives. Boom. Who is the most critical? Oh, they're, they're both very critical, mum and dad, and Scott actually. Dad, maybe? I'm gonna go with dad. Another question was, did your mum and dad ever event? Good Lord, no. <laughs> Harry didn't even ride until Ashley got her first pony at 13. Prior to that, he hated them. Okay, Harry, so what made your dad decide to get into riding and has it changed your view on Ashley's riding go? I thought I'd get into riding because Ashley had her own pony and I thought if you can't beat them, join them. I was mucking about with the horses with Ashley, so I thought I might as well start myself. And the second part of the question, yes, it has made me think about Ashley's riding and actually how difficult it is and how actually good she is at doing it. And also all those other riders out there, it actually looks easy, but it's not easy. Looking good, by the way. Thanks. Ash. Will you ever go five star? Will you ever go five star? Uh, five star is my dream, my goal. I was hoping to go with Zebedee, but he is a little bit older now. He's 18 and with our fool, so we might not make Just a yes or no. <laughs> got eliminated. My first event that I competed was when I was 16 on my 17 to 
horse and I did my first B at the age of 18. Scott, will the horses be included in the wedding? Well, will you let them be included in the wedding? The main man Zebedee will be included in the wedding. Only Zebedee, no one else. Do you want more horses? Zebedee definitely, it might be a bit chaotic if we have all of them included. I don't think there's any way the horses wouldn't be included in the wedding. It wouldn't be a wedding, Ashley's wedding without horses. Good answer. Top tips for gaining confidence. The top tips for gaining confidence would be <laughs> to just, I would say keep going out, competing, but at the, a lower level. So you gain your confidence at that level and then you move up slowly when you're ready. At home, don't go. If it's jumping you're doing, don't jump too big out of your comfort zone. Because once you lose your confidence, it's very difficult to get it back. You want to just build it slowly and have a really good trainer who can support you. Which is your dad's favourite course out of Ashley's? Probably Zebedee. Because he's a proper bloke, isn't he? Doing a proper day's work. He's bitten me a few times, but he is decent. So I am a little burnt. So I'm putting my t-shirt on to go in the sea. So you should never feel ashamed, ashamed of wearing a t-shirt on holiday when you're a bit burnt. We don't want to get any more burnt. Looking cool, eh? So we've come, what have we done? We've come to a hotel full of Instagram influencers, haven't we? They're oh. all modelling their nice bikinis and having lots and lots of pictures taken, lots of poses. And then there's... We're just here in our t-shirts. Well, there's me with my t-shirt on. Me with my there. snorkeling gear. Yeah. <laughs> Looking cool. They all think we're very uncool. Yeah, we don't really fit in, but we're cool in our own way, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. Nice. Next question. Who's the most spoiled horse on the yard? Okay, well, that's probably quite an easy question. It's going to have to be Zebedee. I mean, all of my horses are spoiled, but Zebedee is the king. I've had him the longest, which also is another question. I've had him for nine years in August. Ashley. What advice would you give somebody who wants to do eventing for a living? What advice? Um, to work hard and when you get knocked down and there's lots of lows with eventing, you just got to pick yourself up and keep going and enjoy the highs when they come. Real quick, someone asked if you weren't doing eventing, what would you be doing for a job? Okay, so, well, if I wasn't doing a horsey job, I'm guessing is what they mean, yeah. I would probably become an accountant. Not that interesting compared to eventing. That is what I did my degree in. I would actually like Ashley to become an accountant because one, I'd be less worried when she's riding a horse and two, she can help me with my finances, which are in dire need of help. <laughs> Hey guys, so, so far we've answered a few questions here, there and everywhere, but we thought we'd do a bit of a session with me sitting down. Scott's going to ask the questions from behind the camera. Right, <laughs> hit me with the first question, Scott. Out of all three events, which is your favourite? If you could design your own horse, what would it be? Name, age, breed, colour? My favourite is 100% cross country. Least favourite is dressage but probably my weakest phase is the show jumping. Age, I would say sort of eight, eight or nine. Breed, I definitely love my thoroughbreds. Crossed with something, maybe like Irish or something. Name, yeah. name. I'm not very good with names. <laughs> Any ideas, Scott? Yes, Scott. Scott. Yeah. The horse would be called Scott, there we go. <laughs> How do you financially support yourself? Okay, like I said, I did a degree in accounting and finance and decided I wanted to make horses a career and I've been really lucky to um, have my parents' support to give this a go. I basically, I do quite a few different things actually. I run a livery business, so I've got part and full liveries where we look after the horses completely. I also teach. Um, I also produce ponies, so I buy them, produce them, sell them and make some money. And recently I have started making money out of my YouTube channel, which is absolutely amazing. My eventing, um, I currently fund myself. I have had some owners in the past, but yeah, those are my sort of four main things I do. Who is the easiest and most difficult to ride? Okay, most difficult hands down is Kato. Possibly doesn't look like that on the videos, but he is, he's become a lot better, but he is, he can be spooky and he's just, he's not the same all of the time. The easiest, 
For me, it would have to be Zebedee purely from the fact I've had him nine years, so I know him inside out, but he definitely, probably Maximus would be the easiest. How do you build an event schedule for each horse? What does their conditioning schedule look like during the week? Okay, so each horse is definitely individual. What breed they are, what they're like, what level you're competing to. So a horse that's competing at 1900 is gonna look very different to say Zebedee, who's at four star. He's also pure thoroughbred, but he has to have more stamina. So I would do more fast work with him, also their age. So Zeb's 18, so he's a bit older. He doesn't need to jump every week. Kato and Max, they jump sort of once every week with some schooling, they lunge. When did you first meet Zeb and what made you want to buy him? Oh, good question. So I first met Zeb, that must have been in 2012. Turned up and if, if I'm honest, sounds really harsh, but I really wasn't a fan of him at all. Saw him being ridden and I was a bit like, mm, not sure. Uh, saw him jump, a bit more impressed. We also did the, this with Maximus, by the way got on him and I just got on with him straight away. Like I've never had that connection with a horse like that soon. I just jumped him and I felt so comfortable and it felt like I'd been riding him my whole life and decided to buy him and it was the best thing we ever did. Has your fall at Picton set you back confidence wise? And what's the worst fall you've had? Okay, they are the same. So my worst fall is definitely Picton. I did break my leg a couple of years ago, but that was just really unlucky. I just landed wrong, I landed on my feet. Um, yes, it has knocked my confidence, not just on Zeb. I haven't evented Zeb yet. I am eventing him in August and we are dropping down a level because I know that was another question, but it's nothing to do with Zeb um, because it wasn't his fault. It's just out on the cross country course. And I just, I've got to get back into it and build my confidence because once you have your confidence knocked, it does take a while to get it back up. Questions as well, would you ever do, I think, the Olympics? I, mean, I would love to go to the Olympics. Yeah. I don't think I'm good enough. Um, but... We all think you're good enough. Uh... So if, we'll do a few about me and you now, Oh, I okay. Okay, how did, how did you and Scott meet? Scott and I have actually known each other for a long, long time, haven't we? We met when we were in college. Uh, we then both went to university. Let's make sure my dress doesn't fly up. We both went to university in Southampton, didn't we? We officially, officially started dating. We're not gonna go into the whole story because it is a very long story. When we were 25. Yeah, sure. It took, it took a long while, um, took a long, long while. Um, Ashley had some patience. Ashley had some patience, yeah. And Scott now realizes that he should have done it a long time ago. When are you and Scott going to get married? And congratulations, thank you very much. The 16th of July, 2022. As a cake designer, I wondered what wedding cake you are choosing. <laughs> are you offering to make us a cake? Oh, yeah. Georgina. What? <laughs> Scott, How do you no, feel stop. about Ashley Harrison eventing, especially now after the fall? Go. It's an impressive brand. We've built it up to be something fantastic. I think the fall <laughs> has shaken us. Yeah. The foundations a little bit, but I think we're going to come back stronger than ever. Yeah? Done. Nice. Caroline? Yeah. What do you think about Ashley eventing now, especially after the fall? I... <laughs> you, can't <ask> <laughs> you can't ask me that without any... Go on. I can and I will. The, it's always been her dream. It's her passion. Although as a mum, it's a really scary thing. I have to view it that it's no... It's still statistically safer than getting in a car and driving. <laughs> And she's good at it, and it's very exciting when she goes out and does well. And we're all for it. Hey guys, so we are back home now after a wonderful week in Greece. We had a brilliant time. Tried to answer as many questions as we possibly can. I'm really sorry if we didn't get round to yours. We will definitely do a, another vlog at some point answering your questions and we'll do some more question time over on Instagram. So I hope you liked the vlog. Please let us know if you did. Please like, share and subscribe subscribe we really appreciate it and we will see you for the next one